What is up guys, this is going to be my first sort of update video. This is, you can call me Raiden, from the original team Raiden Dark Games, on this newest channel, The Decksmiths. So today I'm going to go uh, and speak about the new expansion sets releasing in uh, January. It should be January 26th if I'm mistaken. Next, uh, we got an update on some of the cards on Christmas, and the next update is January 12th. So let's begin because I'm in a few groups on Facebook especially and also online and people just aren't aware of this and it's a very simple update. It's actually on the Dragon Ball Z on the Dragon Ball Super uh, website, the official website from Bandai, which I'll be linking in the description down below. But let us start. I'm gonna move a little bit higher because my uh, little grubby face is here in the bottom. So let's go. Uh, like I said, 26. You're gonna get uh, it's a set just like this. They're all green and then you have uh, I think blue, green and blue. So you get one each one of these. Is there a bigger set? Yeah, each one of these is a hollow, and then you have a second copy that's a non-hollow right behind it. So technically, you're getting uh, 14 cards. Yeah, here you have seven normal cards and then seven alternative foil, and um, you get also a deck box, which is really nice. Very simple packaging, extremely simple. This looks like it's gonna be a bitch and a half to open. It's gonna be one of those uh, jewel protector. Um, kind of packaging we gotta like cut it open with freaking knives and nunchucks and stuff <laughs> so we have uh we did get the name spoiled which is good uh there you have the two three drops which is a unified spare sun goten unified spare trunks really 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 anticipating and like eager to know the effects uh because i will be running trunks i do run vegeto as you can tell in my last deck profile and i'm also running trunks I mean, go tanks. I'm sorry. You have uh, Super Saiyan Blue Vegito, the savior. Super hyped about this. Uh, yes, it is sort of a high drop. I didn't want eight. Eight is a lot. You're already dropping six, five, sevens. The deck, the problem with Vegito is that the, I'm going to talk about Vegito later on in a different video about explanations. But in, in the quick midst of it, Vegito has too many high drops. That's the issue with the deck. And seeing an eight drop, it better have a really good effect or uh, an auto that activates on field or that you can activate in main, something like that, because a drop is a lot. You have uh, the other two blue, the other, the other blues, you have uh, Comrades Combined Son Goku, Comrades Combined Vegeta. Three drops, really simple. You, you require two blue energy. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. I hope one of these cards have like, a critical or something, because especially with Vegeta, because the Vegeta cards right now suck. Uh, when we be honest, I'm v Vegito player and Vegeta cards suck. Like Goku, the Goku cards right now are just much, much better. And you have Trunks at uh, three energy. Really good. Trunks links are feature. So uh, Trunks is going to be the next. Well, actually, all these cards will be the next spoiler on January 12th. So tune in for that January 12th for the next spoiler. You have your card box, and then you have one card revealed for Christmas, which was uh, like two days ago. For well, Merry Christmas to all everybody else, you know that's tuning in for the first time on this channel. I'm going to zoom in if possible. Can I zoom in on this? Oh, don't do like that, but don't do that, Bandai. Oh, hit they let me zoom in. Awesome. So we have a uh, Union Fusion. Mind it, guys. We already have one Union Fusion card for Go Tanks. A lot of people just completely forgot about it. It's uh, I think Prodigy Go Tanks something something something. Of that nature, it's uh, the red uh, Go Tanks card. In this case, we're talking about uh, the green one. So it is a uh, six drop, as you can see, uh, zero cost for combo, five thousand Union Fusion. You gotta get. I like how they switched the wording up. So now instead of having to memorize the Union Fusion, um, I guess procedure to fusion for with the Union Fusion instead of Patara. Patara is on the field. Union Fusion from the hand. So remember, guys, when you Union Fusion. You need to send the required cards from your hand to the drop zone. That's all you have to do. You don't need the cards on field like Patara. Patara lists they need on field. People get confused that Union Fusion is the same requirement. It's not. So don't even worry about that, guys. Whew. So it says here, we have six drop. You need two required green and then two whatever you want. Go 10 and trunks youth only. Place one of each with the same power from your hand to your drop area and play the card. Simple enough. Double strike. All right. Uh, the attack we have on it is, like as you can see here, 25. 25k is not too bad for a 6-drop. Actually, really good for a 6-drop. Holy shit. 
And auto, which I love, love, love this part. It's going to be bananas. Easily, like, maybe a three of, maybe four of in the deck. When you play this card, if you have a Sun Goten in your drop area, draw two cards. Easy enough. If you have a Trunks Youth in your drop area, choose up to one opponent battle card and KO that card. Now, what does this mean? Obviously, if you want to, uh, if you want to play the card from your hand without any Goten or any Trunks, which I don't advise it, and I'll be extremely bad. But you have nothing else to do, and you have freaking six energy laying around. Screw it. Go ahead, play it. Uh, if you have, hopefully, one of these uh, materials in the drop zone, in the drop area, you're going to activate one of them. Now, if you Union Fusion 2, like a Goten and a Trunks, my dude, you're going to draw two cards, first of all. And then you're gonna, you can KO any battle card on the field and your opponent's side. That's crazy. It's so good because, it, of course, it has nothing in the... It has nothing in... um as a main effect so it's only once it's basically once we play it and that's it you don't get any effect after your initial activation but it's still really good with double strike you're getting two cards you're popping a card on the, on the your opponent's battle zone or battle area and you're doing double strike so it's not too bad and for 2500 that's really really good so we're going down <clears throat> and also this card it's it's just really good for the go tanks deck in general we have the new leader card that popped up so your opponents will be pitching from their hand really phenomenal card and perhaps this deck well this new card can open up possibilities of playing vegeto here to save the day i don't like the card mostly because as you can see here you need a uh, sun gohan adolescence go ten and trunks youth in your drop area which is really hard to get unless you're running some crazy crazy deck with like I don't know green red and then you have Gohans in there, like adolescent Gohans, then maybe, but you're still sending cards to the drop area so you can even like play this card. And it's a four energy, a four drop, which two two required rare energy. It's okay, but I mean the auto is nice. I mean when the card attacks, if you have four or less cards in your hand, draw two cards and this card gains ten thousand power for the duration of the turn. It's also good because with the new Gotenks leader, you're going to always want a low hand. So if you have a low hand, then you just, you know, as soon as you have a low hand, the problem is if you have a low hand and you can use the Gotenks leader effect uh, or auto successfully, they can drop a card, your opponent drops a card from their hand, but then you're drawing two cards and possibly go above their hand. So it's very, it's a big contradiction right there. It's really difficult to maybe get a deck out of thin air right now if you wanna you know try it out and for the next expansion set we have the dark demon villains now this particular set is from the game Xenoverse I don't know if you guys have played Xenoverse 1 and 2 phenomenal Dragon Ball Z games nothing like Budokai 3 or Tenkai, uh, Budokai Tenkaichi 3 sorry I have like gift wrap everywhere but it was a good game the characters were okay I wasn't big fans of them but uh I mean we have to deal with it. If you don't like these characters, you gotta deal with it because series three is gonna be about these characters. Series three is gonna be about GT. Series four is also gonna be about GT, and series four is also gonna be about these characters. So you have that going for you uh, as well. As uh you I'll see if I can pull it real quick on the site. But um three and four makes up a block. So you're gonna have the same uh I guess origin of the cards uh, it's gonna be shared so series 3 and 4 are gonna be full of GT stuff full of universe stuff hopefully something comes out good from there but sorry for the dawdling we have like nine minutes on this let's start with the expansion set expansion set it's gonna be all uh, black energies meaning uh, you can also call them colorless the good thing about this kind of specific energy is that there's no cost for them of course there's cost but there's no requirement of color so you can use blue green yellow Anything you want, anything you want, and just go bananas with it. Uh, same thing, January 12th is a release uh, of the information for this set, but we did get one card to uh, Spoiled, which is, uh, it's actually Bardock, I think, from Xenoverse when I was playing it. But uh, let's zoom in on this. All right, so we have Bardock, he's uh, 20K. He goes for five energies if you want to play him like that. One cost, 10k uh, boost for combo. 
Let's zoom in on the effect, which is bananas. Also, series three and series four share a block called the Overrealm, Overrealm block. Meaning it's going to be sharing the same effect. You only need one energy, guys. To clarify this, avoid this five energy thing if you're going to use the Overrealm ability. Meaning if you have at least five cards in your drop area, you can play this card by sending all cards from your drop area to a warp. At the end of this turn, when you sum, uh, when you summon it, when you play it, send this card to a battle area to your warp. And Overrealm can only be activated once per turn. So let me scoop real quick over here. Overrealm, I mean, I'm sorry, the warp area technically goes under your drop area. So as you can see here on the board, you're going to have your drop area, energy area, and then your warp. Of course, you put it maybe anywhere else. But if you go to official tournaments, I would highly recommend going on just following this because you don't want anybody being a douchebag and like rule sharking you so that's for you but for beginners what's up i'm still sort of a beginner but you have the warp zone under the drop or warp area under the drop area are there going to be cards that can maybe play cards from drop area or from the warp area who knows maybe but let's zoom in back on this and keep going. So for 20k, you're going to have Double Strike. Double Strike and then the auto. When you play this card using Overrealm, choose any number of opponent battle cards without blocker for which the total cost adds up to 5 or less and send them to their warp. That's pretty good. Because if you only have one energy and this is 5, but you have somehow 5 cards in your drop area and you're not using your drop area, like let's say Vegito would for example... You're playing this for one energy. You only have one energy. That's completely fine because you only need one energy to use Overrealm. You can't use it again because you're going to use it once per turn. But say you're attacking somebody and they only have like one life left or two, two lives left because there's a double strike. They have two life left. And you're attacking them. And they keep comboing, 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 comboing. And they keep like sensu beating freaking everything. Or well, maybe not sensu beating, but like they're comboing. And then they literally stopped every play you have. You loaded up your drop area with combo cards that you wasted or you used up and, you know, went to the drop area. You freaking send five to the warp area and then slam this puppy down. Get rid of their defenses. Get rid of the battle cards. Whatever's pissing you off. That's five or less in total cost. And then get rid of them. Obliterate. Attack. Double strike. 20k. It's a wrap. It's a really clutch card. I don't feel like it'll have an impact such as in the name of like Yu-Gi-Oh or anything where it's going to break the game because Overrealm is a, it's a block thing. It's going to happen for the entire set. So it's not like a one card thing. Uh, I have a feeling that the cards over here uh, will also have Overrealm. Maybe Time Patrol Trunks. I want to get Time Patrol Trunks, but uh, let's see. I'm not going to get the set. Probably the singles. But I should have gone over it. I'm sorry. Time Patrol Trunks, 3 Energy. Yeah, Supreme Kai of Time, two, uh, continuity, continuity Keeper, Mass Saiyan, the Mysterious Warrior, which is Bardock, five, two, uh, Energies, Majin Twin Chen Chen, Majin Twin Haru Haru, two, then you have Time Ruler Toa, four, and then Mira, which goes for four. But it's really good. I mean, like here, like I'm talking to you guys, it's uh, introducing Block Series 3, it's going to make up the Overrun Block. Uh, this, needs, this also needs clarification, Blocks as in... Uh, just themes. They're bringing up themes from different series. Like series three and four is one theme, which is going to be the uh, Overrealm theme because Overrealm was in Xenoverse. Not GT. I don't know why it says that, but you know, whatever. So, guys, I hope this helped you out a little bit. Uh, let me see if I have to clarify anything before we end this. Uh, so, from what I'm understanding, I may be wrong, but I think I'm pretty correct on this. This can also get rid of tokens because it goes to total cost adds up to five. So if it, when it says up to, um, it's okay for tokens because they don't have a cost. Doesn't make much sense because it's, it, the Yu-Gi-Oh terminology in my head still messes with it. But that's my understanding for this. So guys, thank you so much for meeting up and uh, discussing this topic with the Decksmiths. This is Raiden, and I'll be catching you guys next time. Take it easy.